Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday, Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. Uh, how are you all doing out there today? It's a cold day again here, about 30 degrees. Getting up into the 40s though, so maybe some of the snow will melt. Hopefully we'll get to see the sun as well. Uh, Check-in time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Sorry, got an itch in my eye here. I do have my coffee here. Pastor John's Blessed Beans Cold Brew. I got a cold brew coffee system from my brother and his family for my birthday. And so here's, I brewed, brewed, brewed some up over the weekend. And so cheers, church. Mm, good stuff. Uh, our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home. And we have a new writer starting today. That is Jeff Walliger from Anoka, Minnesota. He attends Zion Lutheran Church and serves as chaplain supervisor for a regional health system. And our scripture reading today is Hebrews 10, 19 to 25. So Hebrews 10, 19 to 25. <clears throat> Excuse me. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us, through the curtain that is through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds not neglecting to meet together, as it's a habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. A call to persevere is the little title above this section in my Bible. A call to persevere. And the devotion is titled, Seeing Through a New Lens. And the theme verse is verse 24. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds. The number of filters available to transform photos is truly amazing. <laughs> we have all those filters on our, on our phones, don't we? A clear picture of a cat can be changed to appear blurry with just a couple clicks. An image of vibrant fall colors can be transformed into black and white. Red apples can easily be altered to look blue. God has given us a filter to understand the world around us in a new way. Through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, instead of sowing distrust and hatred between ourselves and our neighbors, we are urged by the author of Hebrews to inspire one another to loving service and good deeds. This involves a changed way of seeing. Rather than looking at life through the filter of how to get ahead of everyone else, we see each person we encounter as a child of God, loved and redeemed. That is the key, and that is a difficulty, isn't it? We, we look at others and we are quick to judge. We are quick to label. We are quick to put down even. Um, we are qu quick to, to put those people into categories and uh, maybe not categories that they belong in. Uh, that old saying, you can't judge a book, book by its cover, right? Um, but thankfully we have the filter of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, we look through at this world through the eyes of Jesus. That's what we're called to do anyway. And the eyes of Jesus sees each and every person that we see as a child of God, loved and redeemed. And as we know, that can be a challenge for us to see each person, especially those we disagree with or maybe do not necessarily like, to see that person as a child of God, loved and redeemed. That is a challenge for us, challenge for you this day, challenge for me this day, 
and and each and every day to do that so let's uh let's take that challenge seriously let's be not so quick to judge and let's strive to see each person we meet today either uh, in the stores or at work or in school or wherever we are to strive to see each person as a beloved child of God. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Report back tomorrow. See how it goes. Uh, so yeah, so be a strong heart and good courage to stay dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, distance as appropriate. Get those vaccines and boosters as they become available to you. We do all these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. God, help us to see and then serve one another through the filter of your love. In Jesus Christ, amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.